My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. The website is www.screensurgeons.com. I'm the laptop screen doc. And today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on an HP DV7 4065DX. Okay, this is as of early 2011. This is a newer HP DV7. Uh, the thing that distinguishes this unit, it has a silverish metallic finish and it's thinner than the old older version of the DV7. I have an older version of that DV7 which I'll show you just for comparison's sake. So this is the older version of the DV7. So this has a blacker finish it's uh, thicker, it has some design circlish designs on the front. And uh, the procedure to replace the screen on this unit is totally different. So um, I'll make a video how to replace a laptop screen on this unit. And uh, for this unit, it's actually a lot easier. Now, uh, for the newer DV7, it's a lot slicker and uh, looks lighter. But the price you have to pay is that the screen is a lot more difficult to replace. The thing that makes this screen difficult to replace is there's a couple of hidden screws. Let's uh, zoom in and I'll show you where they are. They're uh, right down there. They're hiding. You can't even see them. There's one and there's two. So even with our tiny screwdriver trick, which we can do on other laptops like so, we can't really reach inside to get to those screws. So uh, what has to be done is the keyboard has to be removed and the whole metal top cover has to be removed. Now to do that, we have to remove a lot of screws. So let's flip this laptop over and take a look see what we have okay so there's a giant plastic cover which has some captive screws which i already took off and uh, we have to remove that and now you see all those red or orange dots depending on your monitor color and that's where screws additional screws that have to be removed and also the battery goes here like this so battery needs to be removed also now another distinguishing feature about this unit is that uh, model number it's hiding it's hiding behind the battery and even once you take off the battery you have to look really close to find it and we finally found it here it says DV7 4065DX. So um, for this job, we need a electronics screwdriver with a pH zero bit and a changeable pH bigger pH one bit that goes in. We also need some tweezers a plastic prying tool. If you don't have anything that looks like this, a uh, guitar pick will work pretty well. Or if you don't have that, use a metal kitchen spreading knife. That should work. And also an X-Acto knife blade comes in very useful. Okay, so um, first up, of course, remove all the screws that you see here. Also, this screw right here holds the DVD drive. You take that out, and there's some screws hiding under the DVD drive. So don't forget those. Okay, the next step we have to do is remove the keyboard. Now, if you look here, there's a little tab that you push over to release the keyboard. So we push that. And since I already pre-loosened it, it should just come out. 
So let's take a look. So we have the keyboard. If you push that tab, it pops up. So you kind of pop it up like this. Now the keyboard has a connector where the tab, you lift it up like this to release it and release the cable and remove the keyboard. Now, once we get here, there's two screws that you have to remove here. There's one here and there's one here. And there's three connectors that we have to release with the same type of lift up tab mechanism. One, two, and three. So one, two, and three. Okay, next is the fun part. I already pre-loosened it, so you might spend 20 minutes with this. So use your uh, prying tool and go around and try to snap open the top cover. So as I said, I already pre-loosened it, but it, it will take you some time. So take your time on this and remove this top cover. Now, the reason we want to remove the top cover is we want to get to the hinges. Once we get to the hinges, we can lift out the whole screen assembly, and that makes our job a lot easier. So what I like to do is remove this video connector like so and there's some uh, Wi-Fi wi wires that go to the screen so what we have to do is flip the laptop back over and snap these fellows off like so and check this out so that we can get to this, we remove this connector and just deroute these cables here. Now, once we do that, we can just remove the whole screen assembly. Now, the screen assembly, the hinges are held by, some, by one screw on this side, which is surprising. Usually it's two or three screws on each side, but each laptop design is different. And two, like so. Okay, when you do this, hold the screen so it just doesn't fall down on you. Okay, now once we remove the hinges, the whole bottom of the laptop can be put to the side and we can concentrate on the screen. Now the reason we did this whole big job is to get to these two screws here. If we could have gotten to these screws here, we wouldn't, without removing top case, we wouldn't have to go through all this trouble. Now these are covered by a plastic little cover, which we remove. Okay, and so our two screws are exposed. So then we remove one screw, like so, and remove the second screw. Okay, now we're having a little problem with this screw, which occasionally have. What we do is remove the frame first and then try to get to the screw. Okay, or you can even snap this part back in. Okay, so to get to the frame, we use our fingernails to pry open the part that's closest to the glass. This plastic frame is also called the bezel. It's also called the casing. This one's not too bad. So just slowly go around and remove it. Okay. 
Looks like we have something stuck here. So we'll take our time. Sometimes these fellows come off. Sometimes they don't. And if that doesn't work, what we do is we get the tweezers to help us. And it finally comes off. So looks like you have to remove these guys first before you remove the plastic frame. Like I said, each laptop is different. So for this, you have to remove these guys first. Okay. So now the plastic frame comes off very easily. Like so. Okay, so we put the plastic frame aside. Okay, and that screw finally comes out also. Okay, next the screen is held to the back part, back casing, by some screws on the side. If you look very carefully, there's one and two two screws. So we try to get to it like this. That doesn't work. So we have to remove this top screw like this and over here. And I'll show you why we do that. And we loosen these bottom screws over here. Like I said, this one is not an easy one, so don't worry if it takes a little time. Okay, now we can tilt the screen a little bit forward, and then we can get to this screw over here. One, and two. Okay, and we do the same thing on this side. We tilt it forward just enough to get to the screw. Make sure we have these guys loosened. So we can tilt it forward some more. And we remove this screw. Okay, and we have one more, like so. All right, so the screen is released from the bottom assembly. So now you, when you do the next part, you always have to be careful. And then we finally get to the connector. So we release the tape for the connector and then we remove this connector. And finally, the screen is out. Okay, so a couple of things that we need to talk about the screen. For some HP DV7 laptops, the connector is over here. For this particular model, the connector is over here. So you gotta look at your model and make sure you know where the connector is so you order the right screen. The part number for this screen is B173RW01V3. So that's the part and that's the part you have to order. And so to put the new screen back in, simply reverse the procedure taking note of everything that happened before and slowly put it together. Like I said, this is one of the hardest screens out there to replace. So take your time and if you can't do it, you're an expert. Okay, and uh, good luck and hope you have fun.